And who gives the lovely bride away? <laughs> Dearly beloved and honored guests, we are gathered here today to join Stephanie and Richard in the spiritual union of marriage. Our Father, love has been your richest and greatest gift to this world. And today, we celebrate that love between this man and woman. We ask you today for your blessings over this wedding service. We ask that you protect and guide and grant them everything they need so they, they may increase in their knowledge of you throughout their lives. Jehovah Jireh, our provider, thank you for igniting the spark which allowed this couple the chance to embark on this wonderful journey together. And as we all know, every journey has a beginning. And this one started with Rick. <laughs> when he decided to attend a get together. In my day, it was just called a party. <laughs> and as fate would have it, he noticed this beautiful damsel in distress. <laughs> His attention immediately was drawn to her shiny, silky hair. <laughs> there she sat all alone, eating Carl's Jr. and watching a TV show on Lifetime. He knew right then and there she needed saving. <laughs> And the match would not be completed until she looked up, stared into those deep, beautiful eyes, and the spark was ignited. Now, everyone knows how Rick is, and he has a special detail for attention. So let's fast forward seven years. That's a long seven years. <laughs> <laughs> and he decided, how am I going to propose to this beautiful woman? Well, what Rick did on day one he created a fictitious company, W-Y-M-M. -M. For those who don't know, would you marry me? <laughs> he then hired an actor to make Stephanie believe that she was participating in a game that would give her free tickets to a concert by the Backstreet Boys. <laughs> so she had to sing this song. Stephanie, do you want to sing this song? No, no okay. <laughs> <laughs> On day two, Rick invited Stephanie over to the house and they celebrated National Princess Day. He decorated the entire room in a winter wonderland. And then he presented her with a tiara. He dropped to his knees and he proposed. So now the journey begins. And this journey, which at times will be richly rewarded but there will be days when they will be extremely difficult. But most importantly, you will be taking this journey 
together. Learning from each other's mistakes, forgiving each other, and being supportive with each other's needs. Richard, Stephanie, you have chosen this day before God, your family and friends, to confess your love and to be united in holy matrimony. I see you're already joining hands. <laughs> <laughs> so continue. <laughs> Rick, will you take Stephanie, whose hands you hold, to be your lawfully wedded wife, to love and comfort her in sickness and in health, in joy and sorrow, and always honor her, respect her, and care for her for the rest of your life? I do. Stephanie, will you take Rick, whose hands you hold, to be your lawfully wedded husband, to love and comfort him in sickness and in health, in joy and sorrow, and always honor him, respect him, and care for him for the rest of your life? I, I see you can't wait. <laughs> <laughs> At this time, we have the groom and the bride would like to do an exchange of vows. Normally, the bride goes first, but since you'll be kind of controlling the house, oh. would you? <laughs> he can go first. He can go first, okay. Yeah. So let's give this to Rick. Yeah. <laughs> Wedding vows are all about making promises to you, to me, to God, in front of those we care about and for our relationship. The vows are designed to set expectations for our lives together, so when we try to kill each other, it's for good reason. <laughs> <laughs> so here we go. <laughs> Number one, I vow to always be there and watch over you, even when you don't need me. For every breath you take, for every move you make, I'll be watching you. <laughs> <laughs> we'll always have something going on in our lives, and it's important that we're in it together. Number two, I vow to find new ways to fall in love, for I can't help falling in love with you. <laughs> every day you do something extraordinary that impresses me and reminds me why we're standing here today. Number three, I vow to make life an adventure. I made a promise to myself that I would not lead a boring life. The same goes for our relationship. I want to travel, have fun, and be successful in all that we do. And number four, I vow to be that trophy husband you deserve. <laughs> <laughs> so when we go out, you'll be proud that I'm your arm candy. I will do everything I can to not get too fat and sloppy. <laughs> <laughs> but do not expect me to make the bed every day. That's just inefficient. <laughs> These vows are just the beginning. As we get older, our relationship evolves, where new promises will need to be made. At some point, you're going to need baths and <laughs> feed soft foods. And when that happens next year, I'll be there with sponge in hand. <laughs> I love you and can't wait to spend the rest of my life with you. And Stephanie, I'll hold it for yes. you. <laughs> okay. As of today, we have been dating for six years, nine months, and 29 days. That means that 2000, okay, 2,493 days ago, you walked into my life and changed it forever. I no longer table lifetime movies, and instead I can sit through almost an entire superhero movie without falling asleep. <laughs> <laughs> I know that R2D2 and Wally are not the same characters, <laughs> and that Disney and Marvel are not the same thing, as you've mentioned many, many times. <laughs> In the almost seven years that we have been together, you have shown me a pure, kind, and selfless love. You love me despite my very little imperfections, <laughs> and encourage me to become a better version of myself. You have always found a way to put a, smi a smile on my face and make things better. It's not that you love me, it's how you love me. You make me feel beautiful, respected, protected, empowered, and special every day. Not a day goes by where I don't feel loved by you. So today, in front of our friends and family, I promise to watch every superhero movie with you. <laughs> <laughs> to not interrupt during- Witness. <laughs> <laughs> To not interrupt and ask questions during the movies, <laughs> or try not to. <laughs> to make you laugh, to make great jokes and sense of humor and fanny personality. To be your personal shopper 
and to send you calendar invites for every little thing. <laughs> I promise to love you with everything that I have, to be the best partner that I can be and that you deserve. I promise to stand by you for better or for worse, to help you build your dreams as we build a life and dreams of our own. I promise to kindly, lovingly, and gently show you the way if you ever lose your way. I promise to keep you grounded and hold your hands as we reach for the stars. I promise to love you unconditionally, to be your biggest cheerleader, your safe place, your home, your family, and your best friend. The ring, an unbroken circle that represents unending love. With each passing day, may you look upon these rings and remind yourself of your unconditional devotion to each other. Rick, will you please place this ring on Stephanie's finger and repeat after me. Stephanie, I give you this ring. Stephanie, I give you this ring. As a symbol of my love and faithfulness. As a symbol of my love and faithfulness. I pledge to you all that I am. I pledge to you all that I am. And all that I ever hope to be. And all that I ever hope to be. And on this day. And on this day. I am choosing you. I am choosing you. To share my life's journey as my wife. To share my life's journey as my wife. <laughs> Stephanie, will you take this ring? and place it on Rick's finger. <laughs> yep, that one. <laughs> Rick, I give you this ring. Rick, I give you this ring. As a symbol of my love and faithfulness. As a symbol of my love and faithfulness. I pledge to you. I pledge to you. To give you this ring. Give you this ring. And all that I ever hope to be. And all that I ever hope to be. And on this day. And on this day. I am choosing you. I am choosing you. To share my life's journey. To share my life's journey. As my husband. Marriage is an institution from God, and every marriage should have God in the center. Today, we're going to do a bride and groom gathering of the symbol of the sand ceremony. So may we proceed back this way. Before us, you see three containers. The white container represents God. The black container is the groom, and the gray container belongs to the bride. In life, everything we do should include God. But together, you become a cord, and powerful, and strong. And what we will do with the sand ceremony, we will pour the sand with God in the center of everything you do.
<laughs> with great <laughs> patience. <laughs> That's good. Okay. That's pretty hard. <laughs> we would love to read some scripture from Matthew 19, 4 through 6. Nineteen four through 6. Haven't you read, he replied, that at the beginning the Creator made them male and female, and said, For this reason a man will leave his father and mother and be united to his wife, and the two will become one flesh. So they are no longer two, but one. Therefore, what God has joined together, let man not separate. And we can proceed back to the front. Richard and Stephanie, you have exchanged your vows before God, family, and friends as witnesses. And now, with great pleasure and the power vested in me by the state of California, I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss your bride. The glass. 